My beautiful Aquarius friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, we have the new moon coming up here on August the 4th, and this new moon is in the sign of Leo, a very creative, very confident sign. And there's a lot of love that we can express in the world through our creativity. So Spirit is wanting us to splash the world with the colors of our self-expression. This is a perfect time to manifest as well. So grab your candles, everyone, and light a candle on August the 4th during this new moon. We've got a lot to receive this month. This is actually going to be a very powerful month for all of us and this is the month where we can actually ignite our dreams. This is where we are lighting our fire, our inner fire. In honor of that, what I'm going to do for all of us today is open your reading with a oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card and this uh, is uh, the angels and ancestors oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you. These are going to be um, signs actually with messages. So this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive these messages. I'm going to close off with an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Aquarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this new moon energy. So we are getting for you wide open. Look at that wide open energy for you. Let's read this card. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. There are no blocks. You have an open path. And those of you looking for an answer around something, the answer is yes. Okay, the answer is yes. So again, the path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. So they want you to walk ahead into those desires. There are no blocks. If you feel like there's blocks, those are illusions. Okay, so let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. I'm getting the Lion's Gate portal coming up here for you. So there's an activation that is happening. The Nine of Pentacles to start. Look at this, a lot of abundance in your life, a lot of work and rewards that you're going to receive here. Your efforts and your energy is going to be rewarded this month. Look at that Aquarius. So the Nine of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Swords. So we've got two feminine energies already coming through, right? We've got this beautiful openness, just like this card, you are wide open here, Aquarius. Spirit wants you to receive at this time as well. Allow yourself to be open and receptive and see the growth that is coming into your life because there is so much growth, everyone. So the Queen of Swords. Now, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. Slow things down. There is no rush here, Aquarius. Okay, those of you that feel like you're rushing around trying to get things done or just feels really busy, you're exhausted, maybe you're running out of breath, running out of energy, it's time to slow things down and even take a break here. Take some time off. Go on vacation. Do something for yourself because I feel self-care is going to be very important for you this month. So the Four of Swords. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. But also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. I'm getting almost like an eye coming through this, like there's an eye or a portal. Um, Eye of the Storm as well is coming through with this card. This is really interesting as it's there. It's just coming into my mind. It's expanding. So the nine of 
pentacles here, very grounded energy. Spirit is wanting you to keep yourself grounded. So implementing practices that keep you grounded this month and knowing that having patience here is going to be key but also not wavering. So there's a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, commitment, energy that's within this card. This is the energy that you harness and spirit is wanting you to apply that in your life. Discipline, understanding the garden that you're tending to, understanding the seeds that you have planted. What do those ne seeds needs need in order to grow, right? This is you understanding what it is that you're putting, you know, what it is that you're doing and the kind of energy that it needs in order to grow. And some of you are putting all of that energy, effort, hard work into the things that you're wanting to see growth and you're going to see this harvest. Okay, you're going to see the fruits of your labor here this month. Very powerful energy that's coming in for you. And some of you are already seeing these. These are you reaching goals, hitting milestones, right? There is a lot of success. I'm getting a lot of uh, income here as well. Ways of making money, seeing that money coming in from the way that you're making it or finding other ways of making things work for yourself. Some of you aren't even after money. You're wanting abundance uh, as far as love abundance or other kinds of abundance, right? Abundance is different for all of us. So whatever that abundance is that you're desiring, you're going to feel that energy this month, especially around the new moon. The new moon is a gateway that is opening a portal that is opening you up to this new energy, this new energy that you have access to, right? And you can pull that energy and, and utilize it. So what spirit is wanting you to do here, there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge within this card is to learn, to master something. If there's something that you've been wanting to do, let's say you're working a job, you're not happy there, there's something else that you desire to do. It could be like a realtor, for example. I've been using this as an example. Um, what is it that you need to do to become one? Is it a course that you have to take? So why not apply for that course and take it? Save some money if you don't to uh, for that course. It's a matter of a f like a, a few months, I think a couple of years. And before you know it, you're now a realtor, right? It's just this energy where spirit is saying, why not just go do what it is that you want to go do, right? And, and see yourself in that energy, in that space of your desires. It's just a, a really, you know, this energy that's coming in for all of us Aquarius, I feel it's, it's so, so powerful. And it almost feels like a rabbit hole energy there as well. It's, it's kind of like you have to watch, um, you have to be extra careful, uh, because we've got Mercury retrograde coming in. So we got a lot of chaos present as well, but we also have this beautiful blast of creativity. And that's what we want to remain aligned to. So the energy that you put towards the things that you want to see growth in in your garden, you're going to see that in a big, big way here. As long as you keep some of those distractions, that chaos that might try to distract you away from you. So, so important. And what I'm getting is growth. I'm seeing growth in your finances. I'm seeing growth in your relationships. I'm seeing growth in you spiritually here. I'm seeing you even changing direction in the way that you're even moving through life. It might be a mindset change, right? Some of you have shifted your mindset. Some of you are in the beginning stages of working on that. I'm getting a new discovery of something here and you walking on this new path because of a new discovery. And some of you have been on this long path for a very, very uh, like years, I'm getting years here. And you're coming to this uh, change up point where you're taking in everything that you have learned over the cycle. You're taking in all the, the information, the knowledge, the wisdom, all your experiences. They're turning into this beautiful light energy, this very powerful energy that you can take forward into that next chapter. And this is what I'm feeling here is a new chapter. Some of you are exhausted. Maybe the cycle for you was really, really tough. But there's a new cycle coming in where it needs you to be revitalized, okay? It needs your energy and focus. Focus here is going to be so important for you. So having a clear vision, understanding where it is that you're wanting to see yourself by the end of this month, maybe by the end of this year. Do you have a goal in mind? They're wanting you to set some goals, set some intentions and actually make a plan to follow through on whatever that plan is. And there's clarity coming in. Some of you are already seeing clarity around it. So what I'm getting is some of you really exploring, even just in your day-to-day -day life, I'm getting like a um, uh, magic hour here where the sun is shining as it's going down. It's just that beautiful magic glow. It's just like this card. It's magic hour in this card. 
So something to do with magic hour. Maybe there's a time in your life or a period or a moment where you experience this epiphany. You experience even like deja vu or something that um, sparks within your mind and there's clear focus, clear intention. Clarity is setting here, setting in. And because of this, you're going to be able to see your path a little bit more clearly. You're going to be able to know and understand what it is that you need to do in order to create what it is that you're thinking about, what it is that you're wanting, whatever it is here. Because whatever is here is meant to be projected out into your reality as your reality. So make sure that you have good intentions, good uh, visuals and imagination around your life. Any kind of negativity, any kind of weeds here, everyone, these are the things that we want to release because our thoughts, our mind is a very powerful thing. And for you, some of you are very powerful manifestors out there, Aquarius. I feel some of you can make things happen. But also when we have weeds or things that we're thinking that aren't so good, some of those aren't so good things can also manifest, right? It works both ways. So be careful of how this garden in your mind in your thought like what is it what is it that you're thinking every day so it takes practice to clear some of the negative thoughts right it takes practice consistency repetitiveness dedication even to shift the way that we actually live our lives to the way we think about our lives right so the spirit is saying here that it's time for you to shine that inner light it's time to reignite that fire or ignite that fire within you. We all have it. I actually put a post up recently on my community page where, you know, fire in nature, if we understand and know how to build that fire, we can be thrown in nature and actually create fire out of nature, out of everything that we have in nature. We don't need anything but nature. That's the same thing with us. The fire within us, we have to figure out and learn how to ignite it. And become so good at it, it doesn't burn out. So this is what spirit is really igniting with us, in us is the desire to light that fire within us. Okay, and really unleash it out into the world. It is such a powerful time for that right now. We've got the Lion's Gate portal coming up as well. This is where we want to set intentions, everyone. So I'm super excited about all the energies coming in for us. And I just can't wait to see what it is that I'm going to be able to do in my own life. This is where I'm like, okay, let's see what I'm actually made of. Let's see what I can do. Let's put my, all my powers into play here and see what I can create, conjure out of that, something good. So I just, it's a lot of creativity that is blasting out in the world. A lot of ideas coming in. Spirit wants you to nurture this. They want you to nurture your desires. They want you to nurture all the things that you actually care about. Right? I'm getting a lot of tending to relationships here as well. So some of you are finding that maybe you're taking care of others or you're wanting to nurture more. So uh, listen to that call, Aquarius. Some of you are star seeds. I'm seeing some connections to other realms, other beings here, other bloodlines, ancestors, like a whole list of things that are coming in, these connections. Uh, and I'm getting like blue lines of dots. I'm also getting Sirius, the star Sirius. So um, this is really interesting. And the name Iris is coming in, Iris. So look at that. A lot of messages for you today. A lot of signs that are coming through, I feel like tunnels, rabbit holes, right? I'm getting conspiracy theories coming in as well. So, and that's coming through this wide open. Everything is wide open. There are no blockages. So if you're feeling like something's blocking you, it's not a block. We got to slow down here and release any of the baggage that we're carrying because those are the blocks that we feel, but we're, we're really not actually blocked. So rest is really important for you. Some of you might be feeling that uh, the effects on your physical body of being too much in motion, overexerting yourself. So rest is required at this time and maybe even just taking breaks. This is where you get an opportunity to really connect with your higher self, Aquarius. And what I feel what's happening here is your higher self is communicating with you, letting you know that your path is clear. So some of you might be experiencing deja vu quite a bit. I feel sometimes when our higher self is trying to give us a message, it's more than one time we experience deja vu in a short period of time. It's like two or three times that we have things happen over the course of like two, three weeks. Right. So if you're feeling that energy, um, but also getting visions or this knowing, it's almost like, you know, 
something is about to happen or you know exactly what's about to happen you're calling the shots you're like i know you're foreseeing things so there's a gift that is also opening you're becoming wide open to some of your gifts here and through slowing down you're going to recognize them there is this communication that uh, your higher self wants to have with you some of you are already experiencing this right this communication coming in and there's a really deep connection here something that your higher self is trying to uh, deliver to you some sort of a powerful message so dreams are going to be powerful right the word powerful is just coming up this is just the energy we're going to be feeling so it's the, these blasts of energy we're getting from the sun right which is the energy of leo the sun it's the brightness it's the source it's full force we're getting blasted right now with solar flare so we're experiencing ascension symptoms right there is this changing of our dna as well that's coming in so a lot of different things that are happening in the world universally here for us and for you Aquarius, some of you out there, rest is going to be very important because you might be feeling these energetic waves that are just pounding us right now, right? And we're feeling this just everywhere, just in the world, in social media, in our weather, like Mother Nature, all sorts of things. It's just like a whirlwind energy, energy that just keeps swirling and moving. And that can be exhausting, especially when we're tunneling around in it, rolling around in it. It's that circle energy. So some of you might be seeing more circles than normal, right? Um, things shaped as circles. And um, you're being enlightened. There's some something that is tuning in and giving you information where it's the sun. It's, it's Look at this. We've got the sun in this card and it's sending you that light. So there's something to do with the sun here for you. Um, I don't know if any of you are sun gazers out there uh, or if you are moon gazers even. Uh, work with fire or light. This is coming through. Um, and they're wanting you to set some intentions and light some candles, even lighting a candle around you for a few uh, minutes to a few hours. I feel light for you is very nourishing. It does revitalize you. I feel it's a time for you to really renew yourself meaning recharge yourself i feel there needs to be an emptying of something in your life like something needs to be flushed out so it's time for you to actually start flushing things out releasing and letting go allow yourself to become a little bit lighter so you're able to move up quicker um or it like in an easier way here without any kind of turbulence because right now i feel there's some turbulence or you're not not feeling that you are going through that ascension the heaviness this is really interesting how they're showing me this because normally with ascension we will feel lethargy tiredness wanting to sleep more but this is a more it's heavy so it's holding you down this is why it's important for you to rest because if you're weighing weighed down by too many responsibilities too many things that you're doing we're not able to really access um, this connection to source to our higher self so there needs to be weight dropped off of us through rest through rejuvenation through taking a break getting out in nature maybe even going on vacation getting a time out from an energy that's just creating a little bit of like static energy around you okay so very important for you to focus on that um, and know that there is so much expansion so much growth so much love that is surrounding you so much that you're going to see this month that is going to just confirm for you that Everything that you're doing, there's a purpose for it and it's working. Spirit is saying it's working. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You're taking care of things and you're going to see everything exactly for what it is, especially with the energy that you're putting out in the world. So I've got a big give-receive energy. Everything is coming in full circle. It's just a swirly energy. I feel some of you are in this void um, where you're moving through the tunnel before something is actually revealed to you, before you move to the other energy. You're in between that tunnel, like you're moving through it. Very interesting how Spirit is showing me this for you. All right, so I'm also getting um, aura, um, some of the sky aura that it's coming in. So that's coming in as signs, especially if you're seeing it uh, any time in your life. So let's pull a bonus card. Look at this. I'm, I feel like I'm being a little sloppy right now. I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Ancestors, Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck and read you the interpretation from the guidebook. I feel something came in and just knocked, it's trying to knock the channeled energy. Um, I'm not going to let that happen though today. That's Mercury retrograde, everyone. I feel Mercury retrograde is definitely coming in for us. 
Earth Guardian. Look at that. You're getting Earth Guardian. Lots of green here in this card. I feel spirit is calling you to be around nature more. Stay rooted and grounded. We have Emerald Diamond uh, as a third eye, third eye center here with this um, angel. And we've got some green feathers. I've got a spider web. Um, so these are all coming in as signs. A green emerald, spider web, green feathers. Perhaps you're seeing a lot of green birds. All right, so the message here for you today is take time to connect deeply with the energy of the earth so that you can feel supported and make decisions based on strength and integrity. The earth guardian represents the angels of the earth who bring the medicine of feeling grounded and strong. They are the protectors of the land and the planet and can help you connect with your mission here and how you can support the evolution of the planet. The earth guardian on this card is a beautiful part angel, part elemental, who is a non-binary, showing that they are a divine being without a human gender. Their staff, adorned with a dream catcher, shows they have the capacity to help you ground your dreams into reality. It's important for you to take a grounded approach to your current situation, Aquarius. If you are rushing ahead or making a decision based on your, on your more fearful of responses, you will miss out on the growth you deserve. Take some time to calm down and get grounded before proceeding further. Breathe, relax, and connect with your center. Then consider what to do. It's important to plant seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful rather than turn into a weed you have to deal with. So what a powerful message coming in. Oh my goodness, this is, I love this for you. So I feel this is connecting with this card in some way here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive these messages. I'm going to pull three cards. These are signs that come with messages, okay? So your first message here is clouds. Some of you might be seeing formations in clouds as signs coming in. So clouds operate in the realm of the mind and can indicate deep-rooted fear and anxieties as well as wonders, hopes and desires of our internal self. In relation to yourself, how clear is your thinking? So once again, clouds operate in the realm of the mind and can indicate deep-rooted fear and anxieties, as well as wonders, hopes, and desires of our internal self. In the relation to yourself, how clear is your thinking right now, Aquarius? All right. And your second message here is fish. I don't know if any of you are seeing fish around you. This is coming in as a confirmation. The swimming fish represent your physical and spiritual alignment with the material world. They call attention to your beliefs around your value, self-worth, and abundance. So once again, the swimming fish represent your physical and spiritual alignment with the mental world. They call attention to your beliefs around your value, self-worth, and abundance. All right, and your third message today is tree. So if you're seeing a sign through a tree, I get, I'm getting eyes like knots in trees coming in as eyes. Trees symbolize our power, stability, strength, and balance in life. It signals how we are feeling protected in life. So once again, trees symbolize our power, stability, strength, and balance in life. It signals how we are feeling protected in life. Are you feeling protected right now? So some of you might be seeing signs through trees. Maybe there's an owl in your tree, perhaps a squirrel, something to do with trees here, shadows of trees. So let's pull uh, an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you Aquarius, infinite self, 8888. Look at that. We've got the Lion's Gate portal coming in. The number eight seems to be of significance. If you're seeing these numbers in the sequence anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation of this message. You are merging with spirit at this time, Aquarius being a part of or like intertwining as that eternal being connecting with your ancestors you have a lot of unlimited potential here unlimited potential and the color purple everyone right everyone we've got some more magic intention candles back in stock so these are made by my sister-in-law katomi she lives with me and she makes them in this house actually these are perfect for this month of august 
This is a very powerful month to set intentions and manifest. And those of you that are into that, that love to use candles, these are perfect for that. These, this is the intention Katomi has set into these candles for you. So it comes with a stone and this stone is actually uh, consecrated as you are setting that intention and you can either carry this around, it has a hole and wear it in a necklace, right? So grab these while they're in stock. The link for these are in the description box below. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.